Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. For this week's video, what we're gonna do is replace our six screw trim system on our Mexican Strat with something a little bit more modern from Vega Trim. Let's check it out. All right, now the first half of today's demo is gonna be focused on installation. It's important to know whether the average player can just install this trim and start to enjoy it, or if they have to take it to a tech or whatever. So we're gonna install it and see how easy it is to do. And the second half will be focused on playing, um, you know, how smooth the bar is, return to tune, and all that good stuff. All right, so here's a closer look at the Vega trim. Now this is unlike any trim I've ever used in the past. It's extremely light and it's extremely slim. So it'll be interesting to see how it reacts and how it sounds in our Mexican Strat. So let's change the camera angle, jump down and install this baby. Okay, now the first step to installing our Vega trim is simply to remove the existing trim system. So what we're gonna do is flip it over and take the springs off the back. Now I've already removed this, the strings. So all we have to do is kind of loosen these screws and that'll help take some of the tension off the springs themselves. So we'll just back this off a bit. Now anybody can do this. You don't have to take it to a, a tech or whatever. And then you can just pull the springs off. There should be uh, almost no tension on them at this point. So you can just pop them off. Now the only thing holding the trim unit in is the screws on the front. So let's flip it over and remove those. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the six screws holding the trim system in. and we're ready to just pop the trim out. So here we go, let's just lift it out of the guitar. That's all there is to it. Now included in the Vega trim are two different spring tensions. So there's a high tension and a low tension. The high tension will be for 10 to 12 gauge strings. I've already popped out the low tension strings for eight or nine gauge strings. So this is what we're gonna use in conjunction with the Vega trim. Now the Vega trim has another really cool and unique feature, the ability to lock your springs to the trim block. So very, very cool. So all you have to do is put your springs in and then use this little included Allen key to tighten it up. And then your springs will stay exactly where you want them. Just another clever little way, um, yeah, to make installation easier. Now the other main component of the Vega trim system is the attachment bar. Now this will use four of the six existing holes. So no need to permanently modify your guitar, which is always appreciated. Now the side profile of the Vega trim bar shows two grooves and the trim is gonna sit in those grooves and that's how it pivots. All right, what we're gonna do is slide the whole trim unit, springs and all, down into the top of the guitar cavity and just sit it in place like so. So that should hold it in place for now. And then what we're gonna do is grab our bar and attach it. All right, so we've got our four included screws with the kit. What I'm gonna do is zip them in with the drill and then hand tighten them with the screwdriver. Now, while the bar's loose, make sure you center it in the pick guard so it looks just perfect. And then what you can do is snug one or two of the screws down to hold it in place. Okay, we're on the back side of the guitar again. What we're gonna do is take our springs and just sort of attach them to the spring claw here. Now, they are all attached to the trim unit. So again, they're not gonna be flopping out of there, which is really nice. And then I'm just gonna take a guess. I'm gonna add a little bit of tension, but really until we have you know the strings on, it's not gonna be quite right. So I'm just gonna sort of, I don't know, put it about middle way and see how that goes. Now the next step in our installation is to run our sixth string and our first string. And what that's gonna do is basically hold the trim in these machine grooves. So right now I have to kind of lift it up because the springs on the back are wanting to pull it down. But once we get our sixth string and our first string running through, uh, then we can kind of get the, the trim sitting on those two grooves and then string up the rest of the guitar. All right, we're back. We've got the guitar strings on. Now when I was setting this up, one thing I found that I absolutely loved is each one of the saddles is in a groove. So when you're adjusting the heights with your uh, Allen key here, um, each one of the feet sits in grooves. So that means the saddles will not twist side to side, only frontwards and backwards, keeping the spacing absolutely perfect. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Now in terms of setting your intonation, everything's like a normal guitar. So you set your, your saddle height with the Allen key, and then you set how far forward or backward you need with the Allen key on the back of each saddle. Once that's done, you take the big one 
and lock your saddle down. Okay, so the only thing that's different, you know, from a normal Strat is that you can lock each saddle down with the big Allen key. So other than that, it's standard fare. Now the whammy bar will attach to the main tram unit via a locking collar. So tried, tested, and true system. Nothing too crazy about this, but um, it always, you know, works. You can lock it as tight as you want it. Uh, there won't be any play in the system. And of course you can have your bar floppy or tight, whatever you choose. Um, so it's player's choice, which is always appreciated. Now from this camera angle, hopefully you guys can see one of the most interesting and unique aspects of the Vega trim, and that is its really small size. And that comes with one huge advantage. So, you know, when you're diving and stuff, it behaves just like a normal trim. Very smooth, you know, great feeling trim. But when it comes to pulling up and raising your pitch, um, its small size enables you to go past the body. So on, normally on a Strat, um, it, it will contact the body and you can't bend up any further. Not so with the Vega trim, and that means you can set up your saddles and the, the trim plate itself totally you know, flush with the body. Normally you have to tip, tip your trim forward so that you have room to up pull. And I'll show you what I mean. So here's a shot of the Vega trim, and you can see the trim unit itself is totally flush with the body going along here. Let's take a look at some of my other strats. Now in comparison, here's a look at my super strat build. And here you can see the trim is not sitting flush with the body, but it's tipped forward. So unlike the Vega trim, you have to do that if you want any sort of upward movement, and then you're limited by the guitar body. Now, of course, this is the same no matter what system you use, as long as the trim is wider than the route itself. All right, you guys, we've got the Vega trim installed and we're ready to take it for a spin. So let's start part two of our demo, do some tones for you guys. I think what we'll do is start by playing a short one minute solo, uh, try the trim out in that setting. Here we go.
So what are my final thoughts on the Vega trim? Well, first of all, it plays smooth as butter. Part of that is obviously the precise machining where the two parts meet, but part of it is they recommend only using two springs and they send you high quality springs. So that's also, you know, going to be a big factor on how your trim feels. But yeah, just absolutely smooth. And of course you have that almost unlimited up pull as well as, you know, your regular down pull. And if I can do this, I'll see if I can do this with two hands for you guys. But anyway, um, if I slam it to the pick guard, um, your strings almost go totally floppy. So very similar, you know, to a Floyd. I have no idea if this is still going to be in tune. Perfectly in tune. So anyway, uh, return to tune has been pretty much spectacular, especially since, um, you know, I put it on half an hour ago. So the strings aren't even fully stretched yet. So return to tune has been great. Feel is great. And I think looks aesthetically, you know, it doesn't look so crazy that, you know, a passerby would be like, Hey, what, what did you do to your strat? It looks normal enough. Um, you know, that it would look great even on a vintage strat. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed my demo of the Vega Tram. If you're used to the old six screw Strat system or Squire system and you put this on, you will be blown away. It's a totally different experience. Um, really cool tram system. All my information will be on the screen. If you want to sub to the channel, you can click my face right here. Check out all the other information. Other than that, have an awesome week, you guys. We'll see you next time with a new video. Take care.